Nankana Creek is one of the three main watersheds in southwestern Tennessee. To the north we have the Lusahatchee, centrally is Wolf River, and finally further south is Nankana. All three of these bodies drain into the nation's largest river. Nankana is just under 30 miles long, stretching from Collierville, Tennessee, all the way to McKellar Lake and Oxbow of the Mississippi River. The creek was formed during the end of a glacial maximum. With glaciers reaching all the way south to modern-day Ohio, they began to melt as temperatures rose. This runoff created many new waterways. Nankana has been largely overlooked by lots of the locals of Memphis, although there are a great deal of people that care and understand the beauty of this creek system. In 2016, the Nankana Creek Conservancy was established. Their goal is the advocation and conserving of natural spaces in Nankana, and to educate those about the cultural and natural resources that the water system provides. They seek to continue its legacy for the future generations. Most interestingly, at least in my opinion, was the discovery and excavation of a mastodon in the early 1980s. This excavation could honestly be a video in itself, with one of the authors uh, being a former professor of mine, and quite honestly the person who got me to transfer from physics to the earth sciences. Professor Dye is an expert in Mississippian culture and respected archaeologist. Dr. Dye and his team were able to not just excavate a maxodon, but other forms of paleo life forms from Nankana Creek. A portion of this creek still has exposed layers of strata dating back to the last glacial maximum. It is filled with tons of paleobotanicals as well as fossilized insects. Spearheads and arrowheads have also been located here. I recently went to a location in Nankana that I had been before with one of my classes. This time I went alone and recorded the experience. Also, I accidentally began recording in vertical, so please excuse that. It will switch the landscape after just a few minutes. So I'm coming up on the creek now. It's pretty wet out here. There was a, it rained for about three, four days straight. Pretty wet conditions, pretty muddy. Um, I'm interested to see if the creek has gone back down. It's been about a week since the rain stopped. See what level the creek's at and if I need to turn around and go somewhere else. Um, this is public property, so I'm not trespassing. I have permission uh, to be here. Always get permission. Let's see, the bed, the upper bed, that tertiary or excuse me, quaternary rock or sediment looks pretty dry. Yeah, yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that high up the water. It's definitely higher than the last time I was here, but it will still be crossable. Um, so it's kind of hard to, maybe hard to see, but if you just look at my finger, right above my finger, that layer is at least from the upper uh, Holocene. What the heck was that? Something just jumped from my foot into the leaves. I don't know what that was, but yeah. So we're gonna head down there. There's a little path over here that I can take. Um, and yeah, we're gonna start. I forgot my bucket again. I have a pet mop bucket I use. I forgot to bring it again, but this time I got a chair. So I'm probably gonna set up, drink a, uh, I think it's called athletic. It's non-alcoholic beer. It's only like 45 calories. Heck yeah. And uh, we'll start digging. Hope we can find something. Last time I was here, I have, uh, of course, a bunch of botanical, paleobotanicals. Nothing phonanical. Nothing uh, terrestrial. Let's see. Well, botanicals are terrestrial. Yeah, it's a little cramped through here. I need to wipe my lens, it looks like. Can't wait to get a new phone. Start recording this in higher quality. Oh, it's definitely, you can tell that's, that's some saturated soil. That'll be fun to walk across, but I got these boots, so yeah, I'll we'll make it. I'm gonna stop recording now so I can actually walk. Some deer tracks right here at the bottom of this little hill I just came down. Soil's definitely not as muddy as I was expecting it to be, but doesn't look like I'm gonna be seeing anyone back here. No footprints. Could see a deer. Um, and the deer is walking around all around here. So, coming up on it now, I have this little grassy berm to get over. 
don't know what that was. Not a human print. Okay. I don't see anyone out here. Oh, that was a little bit slippery. And a lot of this overgrowth has died. I wonder if it's from the, the rain just washed it out. I don't know how high the water got this last rain. But whatever it got to, it looks like it's receded back. Uh, I think I see where the water got to. Yeah. Just slightly darker sand right here is probably where the water got to. I can't tell in that rock face yet where it got to. But yeah, a little bit closer look. Yeah, the water got up to here from the rain. I could probably find some new... This is where my Meredith found uh, a crinoid fossil, which I'm still jealous about because I have not found anything. Um, over here, that's a abandoned gas pipe. Um, oh yeah. Looks like a lot more of that wall has become exposed. So it should be interesting. The llama's junk removal. Interesting. I get some free advertisement for him. Um, yeah, I should have brought my bucket. I'm too lazy to walk back. Maybe next time I'll bring it. Yeah, ton of sedimentary rocks, as you can tell. Um, water's still pretty clear. I was expecting a little bit muddier for that rain, but a bunch of little fish. That's my crossing spot right there. It's pretty shallow. These boots are waterproof, but uh, only up, of course, until about midway in the laces. Uh, that's where the tongue ends. All right, well, I'm going to set up and sit down for a little bit. Yeah, I, was re I was recording vertically because I was uploading this TikTok, but I don't have TikTok right now. I'm trying to not be distracted. I think so. I'm, like I said, I got my little chair set up <laughs> um, it's kind of small for me but it'll do this is what i'm talking about drinking non-alcoholic it's nice it's pretty refreshing it's a little warm but oh well a warm ipa <laughs> it's actually just a golden ale i don't think it's full ipa levels but anyways so like i keep pointing out that level right there that little gray um area make sure i don't drop my phone in the water uh a lot of these black rocks it's pretty cool uh yeah, I don't, I don't remember seeing this. I should have brought my bag over here. I don't know why I left it, but I don't remember seeing this little thing right there last time I was here. That may be recently exposed. Um, but yeah, this, of course, I'll show in more detail once I actually, oh, that was a deep spot. Oh, geez. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah, you can already see this is a ton of just sediment piled up right here, but like this, this is some old wood in here um, and this whole layer right here is I mean, that's just let's say at least 10,000 years old this wood right here and sticks and root balls these are like leaves if I can get it yeah you can see like these paleo botanicals are all just excuse me smashed up under this layer and all this is gathered up in at least the last 10,000 years this uh, soil or sediment it's a little bit light and yeah so I'm gonna maybe go a little bit upstream I haven't been over on that side yet I don't know if this same layer is exposed or if there's some kind of uh, unconformity or anything uh, or non-conformity <clears throat> so um, we'll see um, I don't know the age of this layer I don't really have a way to tell unless there's like some indexing, but I don't see this layer seems besides this, I, I don't know if this was added retroactively um, from this from this upper layer. There's no way for me to really tell. I'm not that smart of a so it's actually around right here I found a walnut that was just stuck into the thing. It looked pretty old. Um, but yeah, so you can see all this kinds of stuff and there's no nothing preventing some actual like fauna paleo fauna from being in this uh this layer so hopefully we can find something cool um but yeah i'm gonna 
drink some more water, some more of that non-alcoholic stuff, and oh geez, it's pretty, it's not as exposed as I was hoping from this past rain, but uh, it's definitely like this, I'm pretty sure this whole layer was not like this last time I was here with Meredith. Um, I'd be interested to see. This looks like some similar sediment I was seeing uh, up the river or up the creek that way. Um, that was high in some of the iron and yeah, it almost does look like it. The same sediment makeup that I was seeing up the river. I keep calling it a river, up the creek. Um, but yeah, some more exposed paleobotanicals. Uh, could get up there and dig down into the layer a little bit better rather than trying to pull things out from the side. And I don't want to contribute too much to erosion. Uh, this creek already has pretty bad problems with erosion, but we'll see. Yeah, so you can definitely tell where the water rose up to this last lane or rain because this whole formation it's pretty undisturbed and pretty pristine. I mean, I accidentally stepped on it and felt kind of bad. But yeah, it looks like the water, and it matches with the wet level that you can see over there, and it lines up right around here. So this last rain rose it quite quite a good bit. Um, so I can still see that layer over here. Definitely over there, that, there's a lot of that dark sediment towards the bottom. I don't know what that could be. Um, I know this area is high in iron and uh, magnesium deposits, but I mean, there's no way to specifically tell what, excuse me, what caused those deposits. It's, I can't tell if there's just bush lines in the way or if it does keep, it looks like it keeps continuing. I'd prefer to stay out of some brush like that in case of the, uh, native wildlife doesn't want me disturbing their house which that's fun yeah look at this this is definitely where the water rose up to because this is some pretty brittle yeah so wow that's pretty high i almost came here one day i'm glad i didn't um when i was here earlier i found a uh about a month ago i found some turtle shells i don't it doesn't look like much people have been out here since i last came out here I don't see any footprints since the rain. Um, I don't know how frequently people come out here. You know, I'm going to be honest, I don't remember this big sand berm here. There's no, yeah, this was, has had to have been here. Had to be misremembering. Um, yeah, you can see all the striations. Looks like raccoon tracks right there. Some gross still standing water. Not gonna get near that. I I can't I'm gonna be honest, I can't tell if this is the same layer and not that well versed. It almost looks like the ridge goes down right there, so it may be going down in a uh anticline pattern. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Maybe we'll tell I'm not quite sure about a lot of things. Could walk on that log over here. This this sediment's pretty soft. I don't want to get stuck. Yeah, it's just completely fallen under my weight. Um, it's almost like quicksand. That is some interesting looking sediment. I don't see any paleobotanicals out right. Actually, right there. Right there. Yeah, I do see something there. I may have to check that out. Looks like some dark stuff over there. It's going down, subducting under this. Um, or no, actually, looks like that's just broken in on that one because it continues on the other side. Yeah, I don't know. This whole area would be interesting to look at. Um, Nankana, I believe, was formed around 16, 20,000 years ago. Um, oh, geez. God, I'm sinking deep. Okay, yeah, we're not. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to go over on that side rather than walk on this sand berm. It's formed by a melting or moving glacier, I'm pretty sure, during the last ice age. Let's see. There's a muscle right there. Yeah, there's 
a lot of potential in this area, for sure. I'm sure there's all kinds of things in here that I'm just walking right over, like that crinoid. But uh, I'm a little bit more interested in the stuff I can already see, I guess. Um, call me impatient. I'm looking down there and looking at where I'm going. Okay. All right, we're going to head back over here and see what we can find. Yeah, I was just looking. I'm standing right on it. Um, I was looking at some past pictures I took. Hopefully I remember to put them in this video. This, oh, look at that stump literally right there. This whole section of the wall was not exposed last time I was here. That fell from the last rain. Um, so this is all recently exposed. Um, and I keep talking about it rather than actually digging it. I almost feel bad for messing with it, but there's some potentials to find some pretty cool things around here. Um, if you're, like I said, if you're into paleobotanical stuff, this is, oh, this is some type of tree nut, looks like. That was on its way to become coal and I just ruined it. Some really interesting pattern of sediment here. I don't remember that last time. That must be cement, cementation from the rain. But yeah, like this whole thing is just sticking right out. Again, that's at least 10,000 years old. Um, yeah, this whole section of the wall was not recently exposed. So I may actually start breaking this stuff up. I'll feel much less bad about it because it's already broken. You can see right there an acorn cap right there. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we're going to see if we can find anything in here. We found this guy. It's pretty big. Let's see here. It's a bigger snail I've ever seen, I think. Well, native here at least. Actually, I don't know if that's a native snail. It could be invasive. I have no idea. I've been breaking up this thing. I've, again, only been finding paleobotanicals, uh, which I have found a bunch of. Uh, but, I mean, this stuff being preserved in here is just proof that there is stuff in here. So, I'm not going to give up. I may switch to like a trowel or like a small shovel that I have. Uh, this rock, or this, yeah, this rock camera doesn't do the best job. Oh my god. Wish this place was a little bit more quiet. But, uh, yeah. So, I also see something like right there. I don't know what that is. It's like a little round thing. Right there. It's hard to point through my phone. Something right there, too. Yeah, a lot to do. Sun's starting to get a little low, but... Let me stay about another half hour out right here. A paleobotanist, like Dr. Sattler from Jurassic Park, would have a field day out here, but I'm neither a doctor nor a paleobotanist. Not to say I won't come out here again, but you know, this place, paleontology is a lot like gambling. You know that old adage 99% of gamblers quit before they strike big, 99% of paleontologists quit digging before they find something. But instead of money, I'm just tarnishing my personal hygiene. I'm covered in sweat right now, and also I'm avoid. I'm trying to avoid progressively eroding this wall past uh, its natural variables of erosion, like that little spot down there that I was pointing out earlier. Um, I don't want to. I mean, look, look at that. That tree. That's a stump that something knocked it over could have been a mammoth it could have been the wind who knows could have been this creek and now it is just stuck in the strata right there that's the ball of it and it tapers down i mean that's some really cool stuff you could core that and figure out pretty close i just realized that's like overhanging i don't know if i want to hang out near that actually yeah hold on i never i did not notice that those are the perils of maybe it may be hard to see but that is not supported. That tree is just... Okay, I'm glad I didn't go over there. I was over there. I was just about to go over there, though, and I was earlier. I don't know if I want to do that now. <laughs> Meredith would not be happy if I got crushed by a tree. I may start digging around in this area. I don't have my bucket, so it's going to be a little bit 
messy, but I, uh, I'll probably find something. Crinoid. I, I, I highly doubt there's any shark teeth here or even exogyra, but it's possible. Um, I'm not going to hold my hopes up though. There's a little shell, mollusk. I'm going to take a little quick break and get back to it. I'm really intrigued by this layer right here. Some type of intrusion. Um, what did I just do with my rock hammer? Oh, there it is. Actually, I'm going to use my knife for this. When you can see, obviously, these all these rocks piled up, and then this is like smooth. Oh, that's pretty tough, actually, right there. This is some cheap knockoff knife, so I don't care if it's too dull. I have my good one in the bag. This layer, it's kind of interesting. It, you can see it wraps up around this way, and then it gets heavy sediment again. Get some geologists out here to explain that to me. Um, right now we have the... My feet are still dry, which is good. And this sediment it loos loosens up a little bit more and picks up. Huh. Realize this is not going to be interesting to a lot of people, but the right people will find this interesting, I guess. Uh, You can see all that paleobotanicals. I'm really cautious about getting under this overhang. Uh, that kind of bums me out. Uh, I know the chances of something falling are low, but I'm out here alone. Meredith has my location, just in case I don't respond. But, um, you know, I, I, I just don't want to risk it. No fossils worth dying over. Unless it's uh, a part of the Spinosaurus that's missing. And like, you know, if it's that, then yeah, I'll die for it. <laughs> It'll probably get named after me, whatever that part would be. Um, the, f the missing link to the Spinosaurus. Yeah, I'd, I'd die for that. Anyways, so... I really... W I keep saying I wish I brought my bucket. I do. Uh, there's some uh, collected sediment over there that's pretty new. Um, you can see the form in the water. I forgot what that's called. Oh, that's gonna bug me when the sand looks like that. Oh well. Um, being a bad geologist here. Okay. Not alluvial. Is it alluvial? Who knows? So, fluvial. No, it's not fluvial either. Who knows? A geologist. My professor is watching this, He's screaming at me. Plenty of anthropocene fossils, as you can see. Um, not really fossils, but I haven't looked down here much. Uh, I may walk down here a little bit and see what I can find. I don't want to leave my water and stuff too alone, but it's also shaded over here, which is nice. So I'm going to go check out this area and see if I can find anything. Some kind of aphoritic rock. I'm not sure if it's igneous or not, but... Um, I don't see any visible crystals, at least. Caught my eye because it's pretty reflective in the sunlight. And uh, almost looks like it has metal in it. And it has an interesting sound when I tap it with metal. I'm going to keep that. Um, may I ask one of my professors on Monday. So I move my stuff over here in the shade. Get out of the sun for a little bit. This water is much shallower. I left my bag in the chair. Let me turn around and get that. Um, I may try to see if I can get to that little tree line, uh, but I'm not going to hold hopes out. It looks like it's completely covered, uh, but there is some exposed face down that way that I may check out. Okay, I'm not holding out much hope for this area back here. It looks like there is some kind of trail leading up to the ridge there. Um, this, whoa, yeah, this mud is very slippery. I'm holding a mini machete. I don't I'd rather not slip on that. I might even go back there. I don't see any access to that layer, so I'm just gonna head back out this way. Some nice looking birch. Um, you can see where I slipped. No footprints, just besides these deer. And actually, it may not be deer, I don't know what that is, but um. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get out of these. This little area. This area was flooded for sure. Bunch of trash up here. The soil is still very wet. So. Okay. So I can get out of here. Stop dying. Okay. It's also kind of creepy back here, so. Alright. I don't like cutting plants unless I absolutely have to. I did have to cut some river cane back there, but it may have not been river cane. I'm also looking out for snakes. This is some pretty prime snake territory. Haven't seen any quite yet. Don't want to jinx it. I don't know if I want to go out this way. A little bit of high brush. I just want to get over there and see if I can see if that layers. Also on that side, it's on the opposite bank and farther down the river, so I have no idea. <laughs> I need to get out of here before I slip and impale myself. Oh, I turned the camera on myself. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's get out of here. Well, at least out of this area. Should have brought some bug spray. I haven't gotten bitten too much. Don't want to have to cut these plants. Is their home? Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to walk for a little bit upstream and see if I can access a, another part of that layer that I haven't gotten to look at yet. A ton of deer tracks around here. It's like some type of jacket. Tire. I said plenty of, plenty of Anthropocene. Okay, yeah, not holding out much hope for this area back here. Looks like there is some kind of trail leading up to the ridge there. Um, this, whoa! Yeah, this mud is very slippery. I'm holding a mini machete. I don't I'd rather not slip on that. I might even go back there. I don't see any access to that layer, so I'm just gonna head back out this way. Some nice looking birch. Um, you can see where I slipped. No footprints, just besides these deer, and actually, that may not be deer, I don't know what that is, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna get out of these, this little area. This area was flooded, for sure. Bunch of trash up here. The soil is still very wet, so. Okay, so I can get out of here. Stop dying, okay. It's also kind of creepy back here, so. All right. I don't like cutting plants unless I absolutely have to. I did have to cut some river cane back there, but it may have not been river cane. I'm also looking out for snakes. This is some pretty prime snake territory. Haven't seen any quite yet. Don't want to jinx it. I don't know if I want to go out this way. A little bit of high brush. I just want to get over there and see if I can see if that layers. Also on that side, it's on the opposite bank and farther down the river, so I have no idea. <laughs> I need to get out of here before I slip and impale myself. Oh, I turned the camera on myself. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's get out of here. Well, at least out of this area. Should have brought some bug spray. I haven't gotten bitten too much. Don't want to have to cut these plants. Is their home? Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna walk for a little bit upstream and see if I can access a, another part of that layer that I haven't gotten to look at yet. A ton of deer tracks around here. It's like some type of jacket. Tire. I said plenty of. Plenty of anthropocene. Really, no way to tell from here. Uh, this water is too deep to cross. I was worried about that. Looks similar to that little area right there, that dark sediment or dark soil. Could be high carbon um, from the botanicals, but I'm going to walk up here, check this out. It's getting a little. Sun's getting a little low, and I think this part closes soon. 
Uh, well, well, uh, I don't think you could check. Huh? This is interesting. Huh. I don't know what that is. I don't think you would check. I'd rather not break the rules. Uh, nothing quite yet. Is that diorite? No, that's an asphalt. <laughs> it looked like diorite for a second. That would have been cool. Okay. Um, yeah, this layer over here. That's what I'm looking for. I've never been back this far. It opens up pretty good. There may be more access points. It's a little bit shallow right there, it seems, the ripples. This part, though, I am not crossing the land. Yeah, I see some horizontal strata form, but I don't see the same formation that I was looking at. That dark carbon rich layer doesn't seem to be present. This this wall face is a little bit shorter, so it may be further underground. No way to know. Unless I actually dig. Look up here though, I can see another wall face. Okay, I'm gonna go check that out and then I need to start heading back. I can just see my chair in the distance and my phone's getting low on battery and storage. I'm going to look some beaver wood. The beaver chewed that up. I'm going to look uh, into bringing my camera next time. I have a DSLR I can start bringing to record things. Instead of taking up storage on this four-year-old phone. I guess my my phone or my camera is even older. It's a 2013. But it's made to record. I saw something just jumping around here. I lost it. Oh, well. So, the sediment's a little bit loose for my liking. I'm sinking a bit down. All right, let's see what's up here. Just found this. I really need to study up on my mineralogy. <laughs> it's green. That's really pretty. If it would, this focus would work. Come on. I don't know why it's not focusing. It's very annoying. I'll get a, I'm gonna stick this in my pocket. I'll get some good photos of it with my DSLR. Huh, I wonder what this is. I'll show this to my professor too. Looks like there's some more of it right there. It's a nice green color, it almost makes me think of olivine, but I highly doubt this is olivine. I don't know the, there's a toad right there. I'm not fully up to date on the volcanism. This is all coordinary tertiary rock, but you know, it is possible that it came from somewhere else down here towards the east where Tennessee is pretty well known for uh, its strata. I think I do see some access points. Again, I don't know how I'm going to go over there though. I'd have to get back on that bank and cross over through the woods there, which I'm a little bit hesitant to do. Um, but, I guess I got this cool rock. Yeah. Don't think, unless I find something on the way back, I don't think I'm going to be too successful today in finding anything in that layer. Yeah, there's definitely some, maybe hard to see on my phone camera, but I see some of that same layering of, uh, Paleobotanicals. Um, and yeah, this that, that layer subducts back down that way. That layer almost looks like a syncline going up towards that, but too hard to tell. That is definitely an access point, so that's something to keep in mind. And I don't know what all this is over here. Probably find some cool junk out here. Hopefully not a gun. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to head back. It's about time to get home. Edit this video together. Should have brought a portable charger. I will next time. Next time I come out here, make sure it's not 92 degrees out. I'm curious to see what's further down this. I keep saying time to head back, and I keep walking forward. It's like some kind of... 
rock barrier down there. That's definitely synthetic, anthropologic in nature. Okay. I got two cool rocks, and I could always find something on the way back that I missed. So, heading back. Okay, I accidentally spilled all my water, so now <laughs> I'm definitely leaving. It is 5.52. I don't know my watch. But, um, 5.52, so I'm going to head out of here. I don't want to be out anywhere, especially in the heat like this. Um, well, I wasn't recording. I, I saw a deer. Uh, oh, excuse me. Out on the bank over there. It's pretty cool. Yep, I'm going to head out. Um, just get my stuff. Get ready to go. Okay, well... Let me wipe my lens off. No uh, fossils per se, but I found some more of that green rock. I'll have to double check what that is. Pretty sure it's not jade, but I have no idea. Um, like I said I need to study up on my mineralogy. Oh, so that's the other thing. When uh, you're growing in, you don't weigh as much. Coming out, you're carrying all these extra rocks. It's a little bit harder to. Oh, there's some people out here playing baseball, so I guess it's not that late. So, probably look a little bit strange coming out of the woods. <laughs> Looking like, like Ted Bundy, or not Ted Bundy, uh, Ted K. <sighs> yeah, that was fun. Um, again, I can't say a failure because there's tons of paleo botanicals. Uh, found tons of nuts and sticks and roots, leaves. Stuff like that. There's a baseball right there. Should I take it? Should I throw it back down in the field? I think I'm gonna take it. Let me just throw it over the fence up here. It's a little old. All right, well, that was it. Um, took my hat off. <laughs> Whew, it's warm in here. Get the car started, the AC going. Um, thanks for watching. I'd rather not say the location of this place just because um, the it is a conservancy and no. Um, it's, I'm sure if you really wanted to figure it out, you could. Um, it's not that interesting. I mean, there is some cool stuff down here. Someone found a mastodon. I think it was downstream from here. But um, yeah, it's a cool little spot. Just to uh, do some light fossil looking, fossil searching. You're not doing full excavations of anything. It's literally just pulling it out of the wall or even uh, climbing up and digging straight down. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go home and edit all this and probably upload it tonight. We'll see. Um, it's about 90, 90 or 89 degrees. It's a nice breeze, though. Um, anyways, again, thanks for watching. I, I'll probably do some more of these. Probably do another video here. Um, but the next big one I want to do is at WM Browning, and then eventually go out to Coon Creek, which should be amazing because that's some Cretaceous stuff. Uh, it'd be marine, coastal, but... I don't care. <laughs> um, maybe a Tyrannosaur got washed in <laughs> out into the thing. But anyways, um, yep. Yeah. Oh man, I'm tired. Uh, I'm gonna go out to eat to dinner. Probably Hattie B's. Some Nashville hot chicken. All right, see you guys.